But uh, I got other games I want to play, and I don't really have time for it. And I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any worry about Metroid Prime 4 coming out anytime uh, in this century. So it's not like I'm in a rush to play them. I just know that for a while now, I've wanted to play the Metroid Prime trilogy. And obviously, I'd want to play Metroid Prime 4 when it comes out. Unless I play the Metroid Prime trilogy and think it sucks, but I doubt that. But uh, I've wanted to get into Metroid games for a while, so I definitely want to play Metroid Dread when it comes out, and then I might even go back and play some of the older 2D Metroids if I enjoy Metroid Dread enough. We'll see. Hi! Aw, oh, it's you. Tell me, are you mastering the power that dwells within your sword? Aw, oh, you wish to borrow my water basin. Huh. Very well, I have recovered, and I have no intention of having to soak in it again soon. Be gone with it. It's yours to use as you please. To transport the Water Dragon's base in the volcano, you will need to enlist the services of that transport robot. Oh, play that funky tune! Call him. Understood, Master. I will call him at once. Chaos plays the OG versions. One month later, the port is announced. I mean, that's normally how it works, right? I played TMS Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and then it got a port like a year later. Uh... I played Persona 4 Golden on, uh, I got a PS TV to play Persona 4 Golden specifically, and then it got ported to PC. Uh, and I think there was something else I played, like, the older way, and then it immediately got ported after, but I can't remember. Mistress Fee, my deep apologies for keeping you waiting. Maybe I'm the reason that they haven't ported the, uh, they haven't ported the Prime Trilogy yet. Maybe if I just finally play the Prime Trilogy and I finally play Xenoblade Chronicles X again, they'll finally port them. Maybe I'm the problem. In which case, all of you Metroid nerds who, like, live and breathe Metroid, you better, uh, start gifting me subs or something to get me to play it and then make them port it. You started Vesperia, translated on PS3, and the definitive got announced while it was on hate. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got, like, halfway through Vesperia on the PS3 translated version, and then, like, I had to stop for, like, a month or two, and then they announced the port anyways. Yeah. Let's see here. This cargo looks very heavy, but it's well within my payload tolerances. Let's go. Master Short Pants, watch carefully while I demonstrate what a real hero looks like. Yeah, I think it might just be my fault. Like, they're not going to port the Prime Trilogy until I play it on the channel. As usual, I shall await you in the skies above. Let's go! Yeah, there he goes. Okay, thank you. Master, your task here is complete for the moment. We should return to the skies so that we can set a course for the volcano. Let's get it! I wonder what will happen if I try to go to Skyloft while Scrapper is still holding the thing. If that'll mean I'll have to, like, come back to Faron and get him to take it again like he won't carry it. Let's find out, because I want to go upgrade the shield. Ah, uh, yes, the Prime Trilogy, Optimus, Amazon, and of course, Rib. God, just, does anyone else just absolutely hate Shroom? <laughs> this guy, he never stops. That one was a good one, True. I'll give you that one. The prime joke, I'll give that one the okay. Alright, let's see what happens if I just uh, leave Scrapper here. If he cares. Touchdown. I think the game is just going to let me get away with it, so. Works for me. Let's upgrade this bad boy. What does the Sacred Shield look like when it's upgraded? Because it looks pretty awesome already, to be honest. Mostly because it looks a lot like the Hillian Shield, and the Hillian Shield looks amazing. Yeah. I honestly don't think it's better or worse. It still just looks good, but the Master Shield will still be top dog for sure. You want to upgrade this? There's no going back. Go for it. Okay. Scrapper just drops the basin on you. Honestly, I deserve it. Did I say Master Shield again? I always say Master Shield when it's Hillian Shield. I know it's called the Hillian Shield. But I just say Master Shield without thinking. Hey, we got a Divine Shield. This mystical shield can repair itself over time. It's also more durable. Nice. Alright. Can you upgrade it again? You can! Three bird feathers? You're out of your mind! Oh, I'm gonna be honest. The Sacred Shield looks awful. With, like, the goddess's face on it. That's actually... That looks uglier than the others. 
So we're not even going to upgrade it again, to be honest. Because we're not that far off from getting the Hillion Shield anyways. Hey, upgrade this bad boy to the Sacred Bow, though. Go for it. Yeah, plus it needs a blue bird feather and more bird feathers. Like, it's so annoying getting bird feathers. Let alone lucking into a blue bird feather. I ain't got time for that. Hey, we got the sacred bow. It uses the sacred power of the goddess to rain a terrible force upon your enemies. Nice, nice. If you've got anything else you want me to take around with, you just let me know. Feathers are my favorite thing to make shields out of. Hey, man, if it works, it works. Senku would make it happen. Did you ever watch season two of uh, Dr. Stone Shroom? It was a pretty good season. I don't think it was quite as good as season one, but I still think it was fantastic. I still really enjoyed it. Also, I'm going to take this uh, small quiver because I think it'll be worthwhile. Is it in? Okay, it is in here. Cool, cool. I didn't. It's on my list. As long as it's on your list. Like, what else do you do with your time other than watch things I tell you to watch? Dance for my amusin amusement, Shroom. Dance, I say. Yeah, upgrade this bad boy. Why would I ever want to go back to like, oh man, it's so inconvenient that my uh, my quiver can hold so many arrows. Can you make it hold less, please? Sometimes I watch things you don't tell me to watch. How dare you? How dare you? Chaos, I assure you, me dancing would be amusing for absolutely nobody. Yeah, you know what? I'll take your word on that one, brother. Oh, hey, I can upgrade this too. Nice. Ironically, after saying monster horns are worthless so much, I'm actually, like, pretty okay. close to running out of monster horns now. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> hey, large quiver, 15. That'll do it. All right. No. My new shield. Yeah, love it. Dude, the durability on this is, like, maybe one more hit. It's so small. Oh, my word. I expected it to be a bit more than that. I realize it could be upgraded again, but still. I mean, it doesn't matter because, like, unless I suddenly screw up horribly, it's never going to break anyways. But still, you know, it's the principle of the matter. Did it even grow bigger? It looks really similar, doesn't it? I'm sure it's slightly larger, but uh, it's hard to tell. All right, let's get over to Elden. I want to get into this dungeon because we've got, uh, like, 50 minutes? 45 minutes? we got, like, 50-ish 50, 50 minutes left in stream. I would very much like to finish stream by finishing the sixth dungeon, so I got to make sure we get in there with enough time to do it. I feel like I remember this dungeon pretty well, though, because it's one of my favorites. I really like this dungeon, from what I recall. This is the entrance to the volcano. I better get there before Master Short Pants. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's right. They're going to make me take him up the volcano, aren't they? I remember this. Instead of just landing where the thing is. What's going on? I almost blew a rotor trying to slow myself during that descent. Anyway, this is where you wanted the water, right? What? The summit? Why didn't you say so from the start? I don't want to carry this thing back to the sky. It's heavy. This place is swarming with monsters. I bust up enemies like a junkyard wrecker. Too bad I've got my mitts full with this basin. Put it down. Hey, Master Shortpants, since we came all this way, let's play a little game called Protect the Robot. Oh, joy, an escort mission. Here's how it works. I'll follow you up the volcano and you make sure nothing touches me. Got it? Good. Your job is simple. You make sure none of these monsters lay a claw on me, not one claw. All right, this, so this is an escort mission, which is uh, historically awful in video games. But from what I remember, it's pretty easy. We shouldn't have too much trouble. Plus, it doesn't take very long to get to the top. And we got this six sacred bow bad. Got it. Stop making noise. I've got you. You're safe. Ah, oh, thank you. Whoops. Whoa, whoa. Goodbye. Later. Bad 
head. No, that actually hit. I think the hitbox was a little nice to me on that one. Hey, an ornamental skull. Remember when I needed a bunch of those? Bum, bum, bum. Hello. Anyone around? Anyone want to die? Oh, this looks fun. Nothing could go wrong with this. Oh. I'm handling it. I'm handling it. Oh, don't push me off. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. We're good. We're good. Nothing to worry about here. We're already almost up to the top. This isn't going to take long at all. I also think we took the shorter path because I think you could have gone around some other ways because, like, they showed, like, a hookshot thing was uh, there that isn't normally there and uh, a couple of other things. So I, I think you could have gone multiple paths here, but I'm pretty sure we picked, like, the shortest path. Is that going to hit? Wow, I nailed that. That's amazing. Joy-Cons are not fantastic at staying steady. There is also a little bit of drop. Dude, I'm so good at this video game. I'm amazing. Actually, just the best ever. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you guys were here. Why are you over there? What are you doing? Why are you away from me? Why would you're Scrapper? What the heck, dude? What kind of actual moron? Oh, hi. By the way, they definitely laid a claw on him or a club, whatever. But uh, thankfully, it looks like the game gives you a little bit of tolerance, which I appreciate. Considering that the uh, AI of Scrapper might be just slightly stupid. Hi. No, you don't. No, you don't, I said. Goodbye. Good night. Oh, hey, it's this guy with a metal shield. Hup. Die, die, die. Not dead. Nope. Are you dead yet? Dude, this guy will not die. There we go. I was about to say, he just will not go down. Ooh, red rupee. Thank you. Running, running, running. All the keys that are normally here on here. Well, I hope that Scrapper doesn't mind the heat because we're about to be at the uh, super hot location. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. Gotcha. No, he shot another one. Oh, my goodness. Malfunction. Two damage. Yada, yada. I blame you 1,000% for when we went up the side to uh, to going right. I'm, I'm mad at you. I blame the game's AI for doing this. Shut up, you idiot. You floated up right in front of the monster and stood in front of it like, oh, help me, help me. Instead of being like over next to me. That was dumb. I blame the game on that one. There was no reason for Scrapper to have gone over to right next to the enemy before because he still would have had one hit after that arrow hit him and we were almost there anyway. At least it doesn't respawn the enemies. I appreciate that. It'd be really annoying if I had to fight them all again because of the AI of the game being stupid. What do you mean, wait for you? Come on. I like you, Scrapper. I like you a lot. I like your character and your music. You're, you're funny. But could you be any more annoying right now? Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Dude, you fly. Like, come on. I'd like to get to the top sometime today. I'd like to finish the sixth dungeon today. We don't have unlimited time here. Especially because I'm starting to feel pretty hungry. Go, go, go. I went a little early there. I hope I still have enough stamina. Oh, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're good. Plenty of stamina to spare. Bum, ba -da -bum. Hello. Hello. 
Oh my goodness, dude. You're, you're literally right behind me. Like, I don't understand what more you could ask for here. I didn't expect there to be a, a bow dude here. Whoa. Later, sucker. Uh, headshot. There's a dude up there, too. What the heck? Oh, you're still alive? I thought you died there. I'm handling the monsters. Shut up. Come on. Wait. Oh, there's another dude over there. Come on, come on, come on. My goodness, how many... You're dying. How many enemies do they need to include for this? I'm so glad he didn't die there. I didn't realize there was another bow dude. Well, we're almost there at least, just a little bit further to go. Very nearly just about kind of almost there. Come here, Keese. Come here. Is that all of them? I think that was all of them. So close. Oh, there's Lizaphos there now. I don't mind fighting the Lizaphos, but I want you dead. Is that other one still like right? Yep. And you know, honestly. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, they can't be hit by uh, arrows. That's cool. That is legitimately cool. Why are you right down here next to them? Ow. I'm panicking. Come this way, come this way, get away, get away from him. Oh no, you just go and attack him instead, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, Scrapper, could you be any more right in the middle of danger? <laughs> like, you can't think to just float away a little bit. I don't think there are any enemies left. Alright, we should be good. That was a little dicier than it should have been. Whatever, we're good. Oh my goodness, Scrapper, please. It's literally just right around this corner. Yo, Gorko, I got the answer. You've just been standing here, huh? You want me to pour the water on this? No problem. Wow, you just dropped it, huh? Okay. Thank goodness all the water fell in. Did you see that, Mistress Fee? If there's anything else I can do to be of assistance, just call me. Anytime. The flames blocking your path have been fully extinguished. I recommend proceeding ahead. All right. You're something else, bud. There's nothing you cannot do. You go ahead on in. You have earned the right to blaze this trail. Thanks, dude. Talk to you later, Gorko. Fire Sanctuary. We in this. Do you think the city in the sky from Twilight Princess is actually the ruins of Skyloft from this game? No, not really. They don't really look similar, like, at all. Also, like, the, uh, city in the sky had those weird little creatures that said, like, oh, yeah, we're the ones who lived here and stuff. Bum -bum -bum. ba bum Let's get moving, boys. We got about 40 minutes to finish this dungeon. Speed run. It's not going to be a speed run. I honestly think 40 minutes is about how long it would take me. Give or take. I do really like this dungeon. Oh, I was supposed to keep going on that. <laughs> my B, my B. I just jumped over instinctively because I was like, oh, you spl uh, splice, you, uh, space to go. Later. Oh, 
All these dumb idiots. Really hope that these don't all despawn by the time I get over there. I've only got nine arrows left. I'd like to have some more. Get at least this one. Oh, literally right before my eyes. Bum, bum, bum. Welcome to stream Artorias. How's it going? Hi there. Bye there. How on earth was that little grate like linked up to your life force? What was that about? How do you make that happen? You got a small key. I bet it can open a small lock of some kind. How much you want to bet, chat? How much you want to bet? How are you supposed to get up there? Oh, dude, it's this guy. I love this guy. Gold. Oh, ha, ha, the exit at last. Whoa, don't scare me like that. I thought you were one of those monster creeps. Oh, hey, what's this? You got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts, don't you? Who are you anyway? What you doing here? I'm on a quest, brother. Ah, oh, I get you. Huh, me? Oh, yeah, the name's Gold. I'm the big boss of the Mogmas. I love the Mogmas. Those digging mitts you got right there, I invented them. Haha. <laughs> -ha. No offense, pal, but you don't look like the kind of guy I'd send in here on a treasure hunting mission. But what do I know? You might just surprise me. So here's the deal. Word in the tunnels is there's a huge treasure hidden in these here ruins. But nobody who's ever seen it has come back to tell the tale. Countless treasure hunters have disappeared in here. Poof, gone. As a treasure digger, I gotta warn you to just turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you. But you're gonna do this no matter what I say, aren't you? Pretty much. All right, then. I'm gonna let you in on an ancient treasure hunting legend passed down among generations of magmas. Every maga worth a handful of dirt knows this one. Here we go. Ye who seek the entrance to the king's treasure, look for the two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this and the path will open before you. You remember all that and you're golden. Thanks. Some of my guys are searching around here for the treasure. If you get lost, holler at one of them. All right, cool, cool. Here it is, the Magma Legend of the Ruins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the help, gold. 